friends, it's me. Today, we're gonna be ruining your childhood. Wait, and mine. I just read something and it was about Spongebob and it made me think and I just can't stop thinking. I mean, you ever wondered like how Mr. Krabs is like Pearl's dad, right? I have. Yes, I don't all know the if time. you have, but I have. What if Mr. Krabs is Pearl's sugar daddy? No, 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 we're not gonna do that today. No, absolutely not. I'm gonna have to stop you right there. You know, that was me. Innocent Aya. Maybe she was adopted. Like Pearl was adopted, definitely. Which is why she always calling him daddy and asking him for money. I don't want to live in a world where that's true. Where Mr. Krabs is Pearl. Sugar daddy. Absolutely not. The actual slight possibility that it might be true. Like beating my dead childhood. In your Shrek, you see these three bears all caged up. You got Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. Then later on in the movie, you see this scene. You see Papa Bear and Baby Bear chilling by the fire. But where's Mama Bear, you may ask? You can see that Lord Farquaad actually turned Mama Bear into a rug. What did Mama Bear do to deserve this? They just done got rid of her. Made her into a rug. Smash like if you did not know that. Disney is not slick. Just just watch because I, I'm pretty sure you guys are hearing and seeing what I'm hearing and seeing. Rudy, you come back. <laughs> yes, I did. And I just wanted you to know that after class I was hoping to clap your erasers. Oh. <laughs> I'd like that. <laughs> I'd like that a lot. That's illegal! Very illegal! I mean, it's one thing that he said he was gonna clap those erasers. Wink, 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 wink. I just, oh, I like that. No! People go to jail for this! But wait, it gets worse. I, uh, brought you this. starting puberty that growth spurt haven't even hit yet and here you are simulating a makeout with your teacher oh this is gross dan snyder whoever worked on this you nasty ruining your childhood part two apparently the bob in spongebob is short for robert that's right spongebob's real name is robert ew i hate that i don't like that sponge robert square pants that makes no sense it don't even have a nice ring to it spongebob just full of secrets huh how many hundreds of episodes are there and they never told us any of this flash is so lit Ooh, Ooh. got her. Wait. Wait, I, I, I don't remember this. What's going on here? The Rugrats were all actually dead. All part of Angelica's imagination. Chucky died with his mother. The Deville didn't want their babies. Tommy didn't survive birth. What? No way. They're all a figment of her imagination. Let me just ruin these babies' lives who don't even exist. What's going on here? I mean, I haven't researched any of this, but let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, so I'm just watching Pokemon, you know, right? And look at this. Mm -hmm. I also used to call it Pokemon when I was a kid. All right, guys, so I'm just watching Pokemon, you know, right? And look at this. You know, they're all getting fed and whatever. Okay. Normal stuff if you've seen the show. And then Marina has to do it. Look what she does. What the f- <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, hand in the mouth it goes. And then, and then, why, why does it gotta go? This ain't it. Could've just skipped that one. I don't know this new generation of Pokemon. <laughs> Teen Titans so lit! Y'all, I used to love this show. I used to love Raven, Starfire. Those are my girls. Get up! Huh? What? <laughs> I don't remember this episode. The uncut version. You're gonna have to go to a certain website. Did you know that Ekans is snake backwards? Rob been knew this since I was a child. And also Arbok is cobra backwards. Yes. I've been done known this for a good 15 years now. So what about Muck? Oh, no, no, he's not, it doesn't count, it doesn't count. There's a whole nother Pokemon. No, you can't do that. <laughs> no, it's a whole other species of Pokemon. You can't do this. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Can't ruin what's already destroyed, but I invite you to try. Have you ever wondered why Mr. Krabs is the only crab in Bikini Bottom? 
or why he named his famous burger the Krabby Patty? Well, it's because the secret ingredient for the Krabby Patty is actually crabs. Oh, you know, that explains why his restaurant, the Krusty Krab, is literally a crab trap. Crabs go in, he takes the crabs, and then makes them into Krabby Patties. So that's why we never found out the secret recipe. You can't, it's literally crabs. We ain't got no underwater investigation team. Bikini Bottom don't care. Crabs are very delicious though, I will say. Bro, this nigga went into his pants, pulled out his meat, and just laid it on his sister. Like, bro. He really do be packing a big piece of meat. Then he got rid of her. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Is this one Ed or is it Ed, Eddie, or Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Oh, there's two Ed. Eddie is the scumbag looking one. This one's Ed. Either way, they're all Eds. Don't pull that out a piece of meat. Smacked it with it. Boom. What is this supposed to represent, Cartoon Network? I know exactly what you mean by this. But kids gonna be watching it like, oh. This was epic. This is the million dollar question. Why is Caillou bald? He's slowly dying because of cancer. This is why his parents do everything his way. Caillou is a story of a boy who is already dead. Told through the eyes of his grandparents. Oh, come to think of it, they were like narrating everything. The voice of Caillou died in a car crash? I don't even know what to say. I had no idea. Okay, but don't let this distract you from the fact that Caillou is 5'11", which makes his parents at least 10 feet tall. Little did we know we were watching a family of giants. So Wanda and Cosmo are pink and green, but poof, their kid is purple. And the only other fairy that is purple- Oh no, not Juan Dissimo! You cannot tell me Juan Dissimo is the father! No way! Wait, does that mean Cosmo and Juan D But they cannot have a baby! What, what's going on? It's, it's, it has to be Wanda's, right? We ain't never saw her pregnant, did we? I mean, his name is Poof. Maybe they just tried to make him Poof. But couldn't. <laughs> so we just gonna name him Poof. I don't know what's going on here. Comment below some of your conspiracy theories. Oh, y'all remember Max and Ruby? This was like my sister's favorite show. So we would always have this on. So their parents are never seen because they're alcoholics. Wow. Max, the little boy rabbit, he only plays with ambulances and cars because that's all he remembers from the crash. What? So his parents are dead? It's why he can't speak in complete sentences and always blurting out one word at a time. I, I thought he just hasn't learned how to make full sentences yet. He a baby bunny. It all makes sense now. That's the place. Do you think maybe he's compensating for something? <laughs> Shrek, you can't make that joke. This is a children's movie. Squidward is Spongebob's guardian, promising his parents to protect him from ADHD, living and staying close to him, all while suffering depression. What? Is this legit? Oh man, that's kinda sad. He acts like he hates him, but it all makes sense now. Now let's go celebrate with a nice family dinner. <laughs> hey, Denzel's sitting next to Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe after dinner we could... Forget it, Freckles. <laughs> After dinner, we could what? Let the boy finish. I'm sure he just wanted to play Fortnite. What's the little boy gonna do? This is so uncomfortable. I hate it here. We got Toy Story next. The toys were actually vampires. No way. Go on. But instead of blood, they feed off the joy of the kids, draining the kids of their happiness. Molly got rid of Bo Peep because of this. Sid was mean to the toys since he knew the truth. Ooh. Sid is actually the hero of Toy Story. <laughs> Be real, this can't be real. I'm gonna suck the happiness out of you. So when you grow up, you will be a miserable adult. It really did work like that, huh? Or y'all are digging way too deep into this. They're toys, you're supposed to play with them. Little do you know they're draining the happiness life force out of you. Delicious. How you think Bo Peep is so thick? She stores all the happiness down there. So I heard this theory a few times that Carl from Up was dead the whole time. So not just his wife, he died together with Ellie. The trip to Paradise Falls is his move into the afterlife. Russell is an angel trying to earn his wings. Charles is a fallen angel trying to drag Carl into the underworld. Now this is epic. <laughs> is that a pocket elf? No, it's my retainer case. You don't have a retainer. You don't know what goes in my mouth? Of course I do. Food, water, and the Lord's name. I know you're trying to be funny for the laugh track and all, but I was like so invested. Wait, what case? What case is she talking about? And then she said, hey, you don't know what goes in my mouth. At least she didn't pull that Bill Delphine Ahiago face after. <laughs> no, you can't do that. That would have been illegal. 
Nemo's father, Marlin, has schizophrenia. Nemo doesn't exist, only a figment of Marlin's hallucinations. Why does everything have to be about that? Like, nothing actually exists. It's just, I mean, that's why it's a cartoon and a movie and an animation. It's fantasy. Not everybody has to be dead. I mean, if this was real life, maybe, but like, they already don't exist, you know? So, Marlin's whole family is dead. He imagines one egg survived, which was Nemo, and Marlin named his dead son Nemo, that translates to to no man in Latin. I think that kind of gives it away. I think that's where people got this theory from because it means no man. Why would you call your son that? You know, maybe it's not that deep. Maybe it's just like, Nemo's a cute name. It's simple, people can pronounce it, they will remember it. Nemo, cute. No, Nemo actually means no man. No man, why would you call your son that? Maybe because he's dead, doesn't exist. Which is it? Y'all gonna give me some answers or no? is Grammy winning recording sensation Lil Little. <gasps> Him. I slept on him every night. Huh? Oh, I had his sheets. <laughs> that was not that bad. I thought she meant she had like a body pillow. <laughs> I was like, yeah, relatable. Growing up, I had Yu-Gi-Oh sheets. It had Dark Magician on it. I slept on him every night. Tom loved with everything he had, but lost the love of his life to a richer guy. Tom signed his life away for her. Jerry also lost the love of his life. They sat together waiting for a train to end their pain. What? Come on, man, it really can't be that deep. I thought they hated each other. Why are they bonding? I was about to say vibing, but like, you don't really sit on a train track and vibe. <laughs> there was a joke here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I always thought Buzz liked Woody. I mean, have you read the fanfics? I haven't, but I know they exist. I don't know, maybe he was just impressed. Inappropriate, Buzz. Inappropriate images found in Disney movies. Oh, this should be good. Mickey Mouse, look at Minnie's body. Zoom into that. You see that? You see what Mickey is done grabbing? That's illegal. Smash like if you see it, and if you don't, you are too young. Stop, you can't be ruining your childhood when it's still going on. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below which one of these blew your mind the most. If you guys enjoyed and learned something new, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. Subscribe, join the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.